I feel blessed to be welcomed in a new country uh, by a whole family of lovely, um, accomplished and caring people uh, who are willing to invite me in and, and allow me to even try to become one of them. And so when you put all of this together and you look at the lowly boy who left Lagos, not really, no idea what he was doing, um, just sort of going around. Um, and, and somehow uh, God and, and fate has brought us together. Um, so I feel lucky. <laughs> oh wow, we were in Mombasa, in Diani, um, at home, and we had just made a meal on New Year's Day. And I didn't know that I was setting the stage for my own purpose. Because <laughs> <laughs> the whole day he was acting weird and I was like, ah, what's going on? I didn't know that he was so nervous he couldn't really speak. And he doesn't usually give speeches, but he stood to give a speech and I was like, okay, interesting. Maybe it's a New Year's resolution. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even really listening to be honest because I wanted to compete with him and do a better speech. <laughs> but then I had... On that note, do you, Cynthia Munyangi, come to me? Will you be my wife? Whoa. I was like, what? <laughs> no, that's when I started listening. <laughs> 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 but I was more, I, I burst into tears for like two minutes, but he was still on the grass kneeling down, so it got a bit awkward. <laughs> he was feeling really itchy. No, he was on grass. So I finally said yes, and he was more than happy. <laughs> Ada da da.